hey guys in this video we are going to give a super power to this form that it can actually send it as yes, we fill in here to our actual email we are not actually using backend in this process we are completely dependent on html and let me show you the demo and i'm going to fill here my details so let me type in my full name in here and let me provide here my email actually this is not my email address i'm just providing here a fake email address uh, and in here i just don't want to ask any question i just want to give a message of hello world in here and i can now send the message but before that i want to show you here i have previously submitted a form in here it's actually having a new submission form message in here we can actually change the subject in there also it is highly customizable and you can even upload images or files through this form so let me send this message and it also has a spam filtering option so that any bot cannot bypass this so let me see that let me just validate this one okay i think that's gonna verify motorcycle let's verify this and it's verified so that our message has been sent in here i am not really able to see that uh, mail because uh, i need to refresh this i am using a temporary email address provider that's momal and in here you can see that i have this recent form submission so let me check it and it's showing my actual information so name is asis panti uh, email is asis at the gmail.com message is hello that's what i fill in there and it's also uh, saying me when i submitted this form and you can obviously here customize the subject or any kind of things it's highly customizable so in case if you are thinking that we have to compromise our email address if we use HTML only then it's not probably the case with this uh, service provider for us because it's going to change our email address to certain kind of hash form so that our users won't be able to see our actual email so in here I am not using my actual email I am using this hash form so I will basically show you how to actually use this hash form instead of your actual email and let me tell you something about this uh, this is completely free so setup is also easy no registration required like other email providers like uh, there was called forms free or forms carry there was those service provider which re require you to actually sign up and this doesn't have any limitation of your submission that how much you submit in a day or in a month so you can obviously customize this all the things and you can even get the doc and of course in here in demo you you can perform live demo kind of things in here you can actually code in here and uh, fill up the form in here and you and you will be able to see the live demo in here so that kind of facility is also provided in here and so let's dive inside our form and implement this awesome functionality before that i want to say that I have previously built this uh, contact form so I am not actually going to make this contact form again I am gonna provide you source code in the description below so you can directly download that or you can watch the previous video also so to keep uh, things simpler I am going to show you this HTML file and it doesn't have anything in here it only has a contact that is a container basically and a image and this uh, and three input fields and a button that's it it doesn't have any complicated stuff in here in here i am given the name uh, for our full name to basically name and email for our email address and message for actually the questions so you can see those names in here in here i am getting name email message so these names will vary according to the name you provide in here so carefully provide those name and we need not to do anything to implement that we only want to specify something in here in action so for that let me go to this um, this site so you can notice uh, there is form summit.co so let's go to form summit.co homepage 
and in here you can see that I only need to copy this thing so let's copy this and I don't need to do anything I just need to go in here paste that in here and I have to change this to my email address so instead of your address at email.com I have to basically provide my own email address in here yes you have to provide this email address first but uh, later on we can basically has this uh, we can use the hash from our email address or kind of secret code that this site provides us and after that we just want to give it a method of post so we need to give it a method for a post for sending a post request and in here we just want to basically provide our email so in this video I am not really going to provide my actual email and this site actually provides us a disposable temporary email so I am gonna take advantage of that so in here you can see that it provided me in this email address so let's copy this and come back in here and paste that in here let's save this and obviously I am running my live server so it's uh, basically reloading itself and in here I can go and fill up my uh, form uh, something so that's gonna be quick thing after that I am gonna ask uh, some questions so I am not really asking any question and you can click in send message and it's gonna submit our form but for the first time you really need to activate your email to actually use this service so for that uh, it's uh, actually sending us the active form link in here so we can see that we have an email in our inbox so let's open this and in here you can see that we have our active activate form but if you look at in here we have some random like string so that's our hash form so we can just copy this and come in here paste that instead of our actual email address so that in this way we can actually hide our email address so let's save this and I want to activate my form so let's click this and here we go so we have successfully activated our form at this um, email uh, at this web address so that's basically our local host web address you can use your own domain in there so basically I am going back in here and I am going to basically refresh this and actually I am just going to provide here some fake data array at the rate someone.com and in here hello this and I'm going to send this message so by default it's gonna be filtering the bot but you can also remove this uh, capture filtering <laughs> from the docs provider in here so you can basically go to docs and you can do anything you want everything is covered in here well properly and nicely reply to next and subject cc i'm not gonna cover this all in this video yeah here is capture but i'll be doing some of the beautiful stuffs in there uh, like in here you can see uh, i have to really complete this capture so I'm officially not a robot after submitting our form we get this thanks page but we don't want to get uh, the thanks page of our form submission.co we actually want our custom thanks page or we actually want to redirect our users to the same page so for that we have really uh, we have this really cool documentation in here so here is our next feature so I can basically copy this one let's copy this why isn't why isn't it copying so let's copy this come back to our form and you can basically paste that anywhere but that must be inside your form in here i am pasting because it's a type of hidden so it should be inside your form but the position doesn't matter in here until unless you have that actual thing in there so 
I'm basically going back to my from my actual website and I've, and in here I'm going to copy this and paste in here show so basically what does this value means that uh, after submitting the form where we want to redirect our users so I'm just going to redirect the users to the same page after submitting the form of course you can use you can create a new HTML page in here like thanks dot HTML and you can redirect them to there but I don't want to redirect them there because uh, I don't know why I don't want to redirect them there and in here I have this form uh, so basically I can fill up anything in here that's uh, this website is asking and I can submit this form to the actual email address so you you can have most of your control in here and it actually has everything you need and you can disable CAPTCHA in here and I'm gonna be providing this all source code in the description below so check that out and give it a star on github so that's it for this video and I'll catch you up in the next video